we thank you in jesus name we have given thanks Hey, okay, because Baba Loke Tanio to Fibo up me for a lot of Toto Baba, any money Baba, Toto Baba, no, any Baba, Toto Baba, any Baba, Toto, any new, any Baba, Toto Baba, any money Baba, Toto Baba, no. The ancient of days. We thank you this morning, sir, for the miracle of sleeping and waking up. Father, we thank you for your love and guidance. Father, we thank you for salvation. We thank you for deliverance. We thank you for provision. We thank you for your protection. We thank you for our enemies that you have put to shame. Father, take all the glory, sir, in the name of Jesus. As usual, my father, I want to register my weakness before your people that there is nothing any man of God can do without the God of man. You are the God of man. Father, use me this morning and bless your children. Every problem that followed anyone here to this day, I mean this sanctuary, my Lord, I command it to receive a divine solution in the name of Jesus. At the end, my Father, let our lives advertise you. Let people see your handwriting in every department of our lives. In Jesus' mighty name, mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. God bless you in the name of Jesus. Please be seated. I thank the Almighty God and our Father and the Lord, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, for giving me the opportunity to stand before the High and the Mighty this morning. I appreciate God for all our daddies and mommies. I pray for good health. I pray for long life for you. They shall be your portions in the name of Jesus. Please help me say thank you, Jesus, wherever you are watching from. Just keep on saying it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. By the grace of God, we conquered January. By the grace of God, we defeated February. By the grace of God, we overcame March. By the grace of God, we saw the end of April. By the grace of God, April did not see our end. By the grace of God, we outshined June. This is July, the seventh month. This is July, the month of perfection. This month, wherever you are, I'm praying for you that the Almighty God will perfect everything that concerns you in the name of Jesus. With authority, I say right from this altar that before July expires, you and your family will testify in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You are welcome in Jesus' name. The topic is divine intervention. Divine intervention. Why do we need a divine intervention? In 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 9b, 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 9b, Mommy Anna said, 
for by strength shall no man prevail why do we need a divine intervention Zechariah chapter 4 verse 6 the concluding part of Zechariah chapter 4 verse 6 says not by might nor by power but by my spirit seeth the Lord of hosts human ability can fail but God cannot fail in John chapter 15 John the 15th chapter verse 5b Jesus says for without me ye can do nothing this morning by the grace of God I like to focus on Abraham whosoever you come across in life is it a blessing to you or a lesson to you we want to learn from Abraham Abraham experienced a divine intervention after he took a decision not before but after he took a particular decision so my fathers and my mothers if you are willing to do what Abraham did you too will experience a divine intervention like Abraham did what did Abraham do the answer is he fired Lot he fired Lot that he invited that was the decision he fired Lot that he allowed to coexist with him Genesis chapters 12 and 13 are my witnesses Genesis chapter 12 from verse 1 to verse 4 I read Genesis chapter 12 1 to 4 now the Lord had said unto Abraham get thee out of thy country that's number one instruction and from thy kindred that's number two and from thy father's house that's number three unto a land that I will show thee that's number four verse two and I will make of thee a great nation that's number one promise and I will bless thee that's the second promise and make thy name great the third promise and that shall be a blessing the fourth promise and I will bless them that bless thee the fifth promise and cause him that causeth thee the sixth promise and in this are all families of the earth be blessed the seventh promise so Abraham departed as the Lord has spoken unto him and the Lord went with him and the Lord went with him and the Lord went with him and Abraham was 70 and five years old when he departed from Haran according to the passage God called Abraham he told him to do four things number one God told Abraham to get out of his country number two God told him to leave his people his kindred number three God told him to leave his father's house number four God told him to go to a land that he would show him Genesis 12 verse 1 is my witness in Genesis chapter 12 verses 2 and 3 God made seven fantastic promises to Abraham so Abraham did numbers 1 3 and 4 he got out of his country as he was instructed he left his father's house as he was instructed he left for an unknown land as he was instructed but he failed to do number two he took lot with him lot that God did not call God told him to leave his people but Abraham took lot with him partial obedience is disobedience 
So to Abraham, Lot was an invited guest. Abraham invited someone that God did not invite. To Abraham, Lot was an excess luggage. And what do you do with excess luggage, brethren? You drop it. Matthew chapter 15 tells me in verse 13. Matthew chapter 15 verse 13 says, Every plant which my heavenly father had not planted shall be rooted up. I pray for you this morning. Anything or anyone God did not plant in your lives and homes, God will uproot fast in Jesus' name. Now my observation. While Lot was with Abraham, Abraham had many problems. Number one, he experienced a delay in the fulfillment of God's promises. When God makes a promise, he fulfills it, provided you play your own part. So he experienced a delay. It wasn't the fault of God, but the fault of Abraham because he accommodated someone that God did not call. Number two, Abraham had accommodation problem. He had accommodation problem because he accommodated Lot and his herdsmen. Number three, there was a quarrel or a strife between the herdsmen of Abraham's cattle and the herdsmen of Lot's cattle. So you will notice here that the story of herdsmen didn't just start yesterday. Initially, Abraham accommodated and tolerated Lot and his herdsmen. He, 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 he got to a stage. He could no longer tolerate them. So what did he do? He took a decision. That's why we are here this morning. He took a decision. He demanded for a separation. In Genesis chapter 13 verse 9, Abraham said to Lot, separate yourself from me. That was a welcome decision. So Lot departed. Or he left Abraham. After Lot departed from Abraham, what followed? Genesis chapter 13. 14 to 17. After Lot left Abraham, what followed? Genesis 13, 14 to 17. The Bible says, and the Lord said unto Abraham, after that Lot was separated from him, lift up now thy eyes and look from the place where thou art, northward and southward and eastward and westward, for all the land which thou seest, to thee will I give it and to thy seed forever. Not for 99 years, but forever. And I will make thy seed as the dust of the earth. So that if a man can number the dust of the earth, then shall thy seed also be numbered. Verse 17 says, Arise, walk through the land in the length of it and in the breadth of it, for I will give it unto thee. After Lot left or departed from Abraham, there was a divine intervention. In the name of Jesus, today God will intervene in your situations. Provided you do what Abraham did, he got rid of Lot. After Abraham got rid of Lot, God fulfilled his promises. Abraham saw, you know, many eyes look, but few eyes see. Verse 15 says, For all the land you see, to thee will I give it unto thy seed forever. Abraham possessed his possessions after he got rid of Lot. Abraham dropped Lot before he experienced a divine intervention. Is there anything or anyone that represents Lot in your life or in your home? Excess luggage. Brethren, get rid of that Lot now. Otherwise, that lot will hinder you from receiving your blessings. That's another problem is that if you don't get rid of that lot, that lot may eventually get rid of you. God forbid. So what is it that represents lot in your own life? In your own life. What is it that stands as lot? 
anything or anyone God had not called or he did not call when he called you is that lot in your life it could be anger if you don't get rid of anger it will get rid of you let's look at the case of Judas Iscariot he was called by Jesus he was one of the 12 apostles of Jesus unfortunately for him he accommodated lot his own lot was the I mean love of money he failed to get rid of it it was that love of money that eventually saw the end of Judas brethren I studied my Bible and I discovered that James one of the apostles had a book written after him in the Bible I saw that Peter one of the apostles had books written after him in the Bible I studied my Bible and I discovered that John one of the apostles had books written after him I studied my Bible and I discovered that Matthew one of the apostles had a book written after him if not what Judas did he too will have had at least a book written after him by now we'll have been saying let's open our Bibles to Judas Iscariot chapter 11 verses 1 and 2 unfortunately he missed it brethren Judas came he saw but he never conquered how are the mighty falling what happened to Judas can happen to anyone unless you take that decision now like Abraham what about Gehazi Gehazi was the servant of Elisha like Judas he also accommodated Lord greed he accepted what his master rejected he failed to get rid of that lot on time it was that greed that finished him and he carried an evil load for the rest of his life you will never be like Ge Ge Gehazi in Jesus name so my brothers and sisters that is it it's not how long do what Abraham did and God will intervene by the way how many of us want God to intervene in our lives how many of us are ready to get rid of the lot in our lives so you accept that there is something called lot in your life brethren you can no longer coexist with that invited guest the moment Abraham got rid of Lot there was a divine intervention I trust you that you will do what Abraham did I trust God that he will intervene he will intervene in our lives he will intervene in our families he will intervene in his church God will intervene in his church and the gate of hell will not prevail against the church please let me say amen to that prayer God will intervene in his church God will fight for his church God will fight for his people he will paralyze all the activities of the enemies as a matter of fact the enemies will carry their evil looks any arrow shot at anyone in the church will go back to send us in the name of the Lord Jesus and whether you believe it or not God will intervene in Nigeria this is the appointed time in the name of Jesus Christ so how many of us want a divine intervention let me see your hands up and of course that's the reason you are here today and I prophesy before July expires people will congratulate you he says I am the Lord the God of all flesh is there anything too hard for me can you answer that question is your own difficult for God to do this God we are talking about he can kill and he can make alive he can heal and he can wound he can create a way where there is no way I'm talking about God he can bring out something out of nothing who can query him and what God has finished it can no longer finish you brother wherever you are can you just rise and let us pray the first prayer point is a prayer of thanksgiving you want to say father I thank you for everything you have done for me and I thank you for everything you have done through me please take the glory this morning in the name of Jesus Christ 
I know God has done so many things for you in the physical and the spiritual. Let gratitude be your attitude. Also thank God for what he has done through you. Many of us, I mean, God has so blessed us that we are a blessing to other people. If God had not blessed you, it would have been difficult for you to be a blessing. Please join me to appreciate the Almighty God. Father, we thank you. Thank you for what you thank you for what you have done through me. My Lord, please take the glory in the name of Jesus. Take the glory, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. You are going to say, Father, I uproot anything you did not plant in my life and in my home in the name of Jesus. Brethren, help me uproot it. Uproot it. You are not begging. You are commanding anything God did not plant in my life. I uproot you to this morning in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Anything that God did not plant in my life and in your lives, it must be uprooted. There must be a separation today. Let God hear your voice. A closed mouth is a closed destiny. Uproot it in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Every demonic plantation in any department of my body, you are uprooted now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Brethren, you are not begging. You are commanding. You are going to command. You say everything or anyone that represents lot in my life now depart from me today brethren go ahead command failure poverty sickness sinful habit anything that represents lot anything god did not call when he called you command it to depart from you today let there be a permanent separation in the name of jesus my lord anything that represents lot in my life i command it to depart from me now in the name of jesus i said depart in the name of jesus depart in the name of jesus oh yes lord pack your loads leave my life leave my home in the name of jesus yes lord thank you father in Jesus mighty name we have prayed you are going to help me pray I say father that red light that has limited me I command it to turn green go ahead command that red light it's a light of a sign of limitation it's a sign of stagnation it's a sign of delay command it that red light that limits anyone here Lord I command it to turn green for our sake no more delay no more waiting in the name of Jesus it is forward ever we are moving in the name of Jesus no more stagnation no more limitations in the name of Jesus thank you father in Jesus name we have prayed can I hear a louder amen in the house please so you are going to say father I need a divine intervention please intervene in my life intervene in my marriage intervene in my finances intervene in my business or businesses intervene in the ministry in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ Those who cry unto God will never cry unto man. Ask God for a divine intervention. It is your turn. It is your turn. Lord, intervene. Intervene. Intervene in my life. Intervene in my marriage. Intervene in my finances. Intervene over my health. 
in the name of Jesus all those who are sick Lord I pray you will touch them this morning oh yes Lord with your healing hands and they shall be healed they shall be made whole in the name of Jesus thank you father in Jesus name we have prayed my fathers and my mothers when God turns to your side then it becomes your turn this morning God will turn to your side as a matter of fact the set time to favor you has come and now is that time you want to help me pray this prayer I may not explain in full the meaning of this prayer but we do it outside and we get results and I, tr I trust the almighty God that before this week expires you too will get results you are going to say father before June expi I mean, July expires let me receive many pleasant alerts credit alerts favor alert good news alert contract alert victory alert joy alert pleasant surprises alerts go ahead tell the Lord the set time to favor you has come it is now your turn Lord before July expires oh father let me receive numerous alerts pleasant alerts favor alert good news alert credit alert joy alert self delivery alert yes lord thank you father thank you father blessed be your name O lord yes alert yes alert in jesus name we have prayed the last prayer point I prayed this prayer and I didn't know that I was really inviting blessings and it worked for me and I know if you should pray the same prayer it will work for you in the name of Jesus I just said father wherever my helpers are command them command them command them to locate me now are you ready say father command my helpers wherever they are let them locate me now and let them help me in the name of jesus wherever my helpers are oh lord in the north in the south in the east in the west wherever my helpers are within and outside nigeria father command them command them speak to them let them locate me and let them help me beginning from this week my father let me receive a lot in the name of jesus let them locate me lord let them remember me oh lord in jesus mighty name we have prayed wherever you are the lord will command your helpers to locate you the lord will open new chapters for you in the name of the lord jesus christ i'm praying for you now that you will never have a better yesterday in the name of the lord jesus christ with authority i say right on this altar that none of you will be hungry in the kitchen in the name of jesus i also pray that your tomorrow will be better and not bitter in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ thank you father lord blessed be your name O lord my father your children have come they are here because they they want to encounter the god of man not necessarily the man of God and without any doubt they have encountered you this morning father please intervene in their lives intervene in their situations my Lord perfect everything that concerns individuals here in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ thank you father Lord in Jesus name we are prayed amen. let somebody say better amen. amen please be seated Thank you for clapping for Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you very much for taking that quality decision. There is another decision I want you to take quickly. Somebody invited me to the Redeemed Christian Church of God, a bit better. It was on a Thursday evening, and I went. 
guess who was speaking i that in the lord that the geo was the one preaching it was a very short sermon and he said something he said those of you who will want to surrender your life to christ decide for him now i felt like not going out i felt like not even you know at that point but a particular spirit said go another one said don't go i was a new person there so i didn't know anybody except the gentleman that took me there i looked at him he looked at me i was like should i go should i not go but because the man of god said decide so i took that decision you know what happened sir thank god i went forward we were we were not many that night as we were about to go on our knees he said no he said my daddy says all of you who came out today to surrender your lives your problems are over and i had a problem in the office ladies and gentlemen by the time i got back to the office on monday the problem was over i said to somebody here today your problems will be over let me say it three times your problems will be over again your problems will be over provided you decide for jesus now assuming i never went out to surrender that day i never took that decision that day to surrender my life to christ the problems will have lingered maybe it will have led to my exit in that company i want to offer you the same opportunity if you are in this gathering today you want god to intervene in your lives you want god to reverse your ugly situations let me see your hands up you want a divine intervention i can't see you i can't see your hands put down your hands if you want god to intervene in your life decide for him like the man of god said that day give your life to jesus and if you want to rededicate your life to him you are welcome so wherever you are you want to surrender to jesus or you want to rededicate your life with your hands with your hands god bless you with your hands can you just rise to your feet those of you who want to surrender those of you who want to rededicate rise to your feet and please come to the to the front of the altar jesus is waiting for you here he's waiting brethren if you are clapping for jesus help me do it very well that can also provoke an intervention in your own case because you are clapping for jesus for salvation of souls very soon people will clap for you let's appreciate him by clapping thank you jesus thank you jesus for all you have done today hallelujah we are grateful oh lord we are grateful lord we are grateful oh lord we are grateful lord we are grateful oh lord i say for you have done for us hallelujah we are grateful oh lord i just want to say baba oh i just want to say baba oh lori aya lori oko i just want to say baba oh I just want to say, Baba, oh, I say, I say, eh, oh, Lua, I say, oh, I say, I say, eh, oh, Lua, I say, oh, I say, Lori, oh, my Lori, oh, God. Brethren, if you are there and you, are, you have not yet decided, I want to appeal to you, decide for him. 
take that quality decision and you will never regret it so if you still want to join them please rise wherever you are and come and join them brother shall we stretch our hands towards this mighty people wonderful people the, and begin to pray for them that the lord that brought them to this sanctuary will perfect everything that concerns them that the glory of god will manifest in their lives that the lord will go to the foundation of their families and he will write their records remember no medicated soap can wash away sins it is only the blood of jesus that can do it let's play the blood father wash this your children with the blood of jesus cleanse them oh lord my lord Pray for them also and let them live to fulfill destinies. Let's bring our prayer to a close. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Father, we say thank you to you for answered prayers. This your children have come to decide for you, to decide to follow you. My Lord, please accept them. Have mercy on them. Wash them with the blood of Jesus. Write their names in the book of life. And Lord, let them finish strong and let them finish well every good thing they need my father please provide for them in jesus name we are prayed i want you to please open your eyes i congratulate you this morning and i pray for you that you will reach your goals in jesus name kindly look at our brother who is raising up the counseling board towards your left he's going to lead you to a place some people are there waiting for you to pray with you we just need your names and your contact addresses if possible your prayer request and we promise to keep your secret secret the lord bless you as you follow him let's put our hands together rejoice glorify god magnify him hallelujah appreciate him thank you lord brethren it's time to take our offering Please let's follow that our brother before you go back to your seat make sure you write their names god bless you it's time to take our offerings brethren when you load the cloud your rain will fall let us load the cloud with our substance and i trust the almighty god that he will give us more than what we desire when you scatter that is when you increase when you give that is when you receive when you plant that is when you can have harvest that seed is not supposed to be in your pocket it's supposed to be on the ground you have to plant it before it can germinate you have to plant it before it can have i mean you can harvest it any seed that is not planted cannot bear fruits as you are planting these seeds this morning it will germinate it will bear fruits and you will harvest the fruits in jesus name let us pray Father, we thank you for the privilege to give this morning. Please accept this little token from us. Use these offerings to further your work on earth and bless your people in return. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. So let's give cheerfully. There are baskets placed in front of us. Let's dance towards any of them and drop our offerings. God bless you. Over to you, choir. <laughs> Mo mo pe mi wa o o mo wa go pe emi mi mo wa go pe mi mo fi ifu meta lo kan mo mo pe mi wa o
what? You have started dancing. And throughout this year, in the name of Jesus, <laughs> you will dance. What will make you dance, God will do for you in Jesus' name. And so, Father, we want to thank you for the opportunity we have this morning to give. My Lord, I pray that you will remember us. You will open new chapters for us. And all our mockers will soon bow to our maker. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. In case you have written to Daddy, to Daddy Gio, you wanted him to pray for you. Or you desire certain things like me, and you want God to intervene. Can you please come before the throne of God? Come before the altar? Come and speak to God. And God will speak to you also. Commit it to God. Tell him. And then he will answer you. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will not know shame. He will open doors for you. He will recommend you to people that will favor you. He will silence your mockers. He will put your enemies to shame. In the name of Jesus. Tell it to Jesus. He says, if ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. Tell it to Jesus. When he turns to your side, it becomes your turn. This morning, God will turn to your side. He has turned to your side. What exactly do you need? Tell him. He says, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? Let God hear your voice. Let God hear your voice. Is it a mountain? God will remove it. Is it a valley? He will feel it for you. Is it an obstacle standing on your way? God will remove it. <laughs> Is it an enemy? Uh -uh. He will grant you victory over it, over him or her. Is it a reproach? He has the ability to remove that reproach. He has done it before. He can do it again and he will do it for you. In the name of Jesus. Your cry will never go into the voicemail. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Father Almighty God, we want to say thank you to you because we have you as a father. Lord, we are grateful because you love us. You love us and you gave us your only begotten son, the best gift that money cannot buy. And if you could give us Jesus, is there any other thing that you cannot give? You gave us Jesus and you gave us all. My Lord, please sir, answer us speedily in Jesus' name. Every desire of our hearts that is good, Father, please grant unto us in the name of Jesus. My Lord, please, sir, all those who gather against this, your children, let them fall for them sake in Jesus' name. Every door that the enemies had shut in the physical and the spiritual against anyone here, I open it in the name of Jesus. Is there any arrow shot at anyone here? I command it to go back to send us in the name of Jesus. Is there anyone carrying any load here? I command the owners of these loads to carry their loads in Jesus' name. The Lord will supply your needs. The Lord will bless you. The Lord will enlarge you. The Lord will answer your prayers. The Lord will perfect everything that concerns you. Nobody will take the glory. God only will take the glory. People will see God's handwriting in your lives. Your lives will advertise Jesus. It shall be well with you. God's glory will manifest. Your joy shall be full. You will celebrate and you will be celebrated. The Lord will enlarge your coast. No evil will befall you. No weapon fashioned against you will prosper. Those of you who must travel wherever you go, the presence of the Lord will accompany you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Father, we thank you. Blessed be your name, Father. Thank you for answered prayers. 
for in Jesus name we are praying Ibuku ti mori ba mamundele Ibuku ti mori ba mamundele Ayo ti mori ba haba mindele Ayo ti mori ba mamundele Ori ofa ti mori ba mamundele Ori ofa ti mori ba mamundele Iwo so ti mori ba mamundele 